Hi, I'm Abby. I'm a student at the University of Bristol and I'm part of a Mazzotti Synagogue in London. So this week's parasha is Tzav and I think there are th really three main sections to it. The first section details limitations on the consumption of meat for the children of Israel, which I think is something we can all understand about right now. The second talks about Aaron and his sons being ordained as high priests and how they're expected to prepare the tabernacle as a space for holy prayer. And the third talks about five sacrifices that the high priests are expected to make on a daily basis. Um, now, one of these daily offerings was cake flour, um, which might be hard to find in your supermarkets and shops right now. But actually, by biblical standards, it was quite a cheap and accessible thing to find. Um, so some people questioned why the high priests, who were arguably the most influential, um, the most powerful and the most wealthy of all the tribes, um, why were they expected to bring such a low value item to the tabernacle? Um, and I thought about this and the only logical conclusion I came to was to make it a more inclusive space for prayer. So the idea of setting a wider standard that each individual shouldn't be ashamed of their own shortcomings, that everyone should just do what they can do um, rather than what they feel they should do, which is ultimately um, a better working model for a community. Um, and this all really resonated with me because I think there's this huge pressure, especially with what's going on right now, for young people um, to be heroes of their generation and to save the world. Um, and I think this is a really unhealthy pressure to put on ourselves and it doesn't give us all a chance to step back and to check in with ourselves, check in on our physical health, check in on our mental health, um, check in on our families and our friends. Um, so this Shabbat, I'd really challenge you all to take a minute for yourselves to check in on where you're at and just make sure that whatever you're doing moving forward isn't ne affecting yourself negatively um, and that small small actions can incite much much bigger change there's absolutely no pressure to be starting charities and changing the whole world but small things like paying it forward doing a shopping for an elderly neighbor looking after people that's what's really going to count and that's what really makes the world go round um, if you'd like to get involved and write a Devatara on next week's parasha, then please get in touch with Georgie or Esther at UJS. Shabbat Shalom.